filling method produces this example of a hypercube. Numerous cubes could be formed, just depending on how you cut it. Notice that series of holes. up here whenever you look down a face sorry down an edge notice that there are two types of corners female corners male corners diametrically posed notice that it mimics cubes or tetrahedrons Hypercube. Here's the set of what I'll call tetracubes again, each opposite to the other in internal and external color. Here's some of the structures that can be formed from these square areas looking like this. Notice that the holes through them are rhombuses. In general, if it was a bit more accurate. An interesting cluster that is part of a surface. These are all formed from interlocking units. Folding one lobe in, tucking the next one in with it. One can use it as a model kit that accurately describes things such as hexane, carbon bonding, each one bonding like a tetrahedron of carbon atoms. Several variants of this kind of interlocking unit in almost all of the geometries mimics these structures. Another three here, another one on top, forms a cell, which requires another one on the other side, making a total of 14, which you'll see later. That's a fundamental unit, dividing up space. Benzene.